Today I'm going to show you 11 ways that you can put on these bandanas. We're going to start with the head and then we're going to start moving down. Jeremiah, this one's for you. It was nine months in the making growing out this hair so I can show with examples and everything. Anyway, let's start with a standard uh, headband variety here for you guys. So what we're going to do first of all is that we're going to lay our bandana down here flat like this. From here we're going to fold it over in half so that we create a triangle like this this making sure it lines up reasonably evenly along the lines here we're going to start folding the bandana up from the long part up to the top of the triangle here we're going to do about two inches at a time so once twice by the way that's five centimeters for us uh, non-americans up like that and from here we're going to lift up the headband here as you can see i'm now holding this little edge here that has a tendency to kind of stick out so make sure you get that inside one of the ends from here we're going to take the headband Place it on your forehead, behind your ears, and to the back. Now here you can decide whether you want to put it underneath your hair, like that. Then you're going to have your hair sticking out over it, or you can just go right over the hair. Now if you go right over the hair like this, it's a little bit easier, but uh, also at the same time it slides off a little easier. So I would do a double knot here just to make sure that it stays in place. Otherwise it's going to loosen up over time, kind of just slip off. If you want it to hold together better as you're putting it on, you could consider applying a little bit of hairspray. I think it's unnecessary. You could also consider a little bobby pin to just kind of stick it in place, then it's not going to fall off as easily. Of course there are alternatives to this. You don't need to do it exactly like this. A lot of people like to take it and instead of placing it with this front side facing up, they'll take it from the back like that. Again, you can decide with your hair whether you want to stick it underneath it or over it. It's up to you, really. And here from the front, you can tie it up the same way. Just straight ahead like that. Just adjust it a little bit here. And there we have it. Look like Tupac himself, back from Cuba. And from here, we can tie it up one more time if you want to. Again, it kind of loosens up if you just keep it like that uh, over time. You can also, of course, place it to the side or however you would like. Don't I look pretty? <laughs> so those are the standard ways to put it on as a headband, right? But there is also a bunch of ways we can put this on as a wrap here to kind of cover our entire head, you know, better for the sun, also easier to kind of keep your hair in place. So we're gonna start out the same way here with all these methods by laying the bandana down flat like this. Then from here, we're gonna fold it over in half again, the same way that we did here with the other folds make sure you make a nice triangle here from here we can pick up the entire bandana and we place it over our heads like this and behind the ears what i'm going to do first here is just show you how to cover your entire hair head with it so place it behind there make one knot right now you could make two knots but i like what i like to do is make one knot and then pull down this little flappy part here underneath and then you make one more knot why one more knot well it kind of holds this floppy part in place if you don't do this that floppy part has a tendency to kind of flip out throughout the day if you're going to wear this especially for a long time there are an alternative way to do this that's pretty cool if you want to just kind of keep your hair away from uh, the front of your head and that is when you get to this part instead of just tying it up put the bandana underneath your hair like this so pull up your hair like that and tie a knot like that this way you kind of have your hair free in the back here that way it doesn't get full in the front if you have longer hair than me you could also just place it to the side or whatever keep it nicely and tightly in there if you're going to do that it is easier to do a ponytail first just so you can keep it easier in place just so you are aware of that let's do the pirate way so again we're starting with the banana laying down flat here now we're going to fold it over but this time we're not going to fold it all the way we're going to stagger it uh, let's say about two inches away from the edge here so get kind of this shape here. You can see now it's bigger than compared to if we fold it all the way over. Anyway, once you got to this point, lift it up again. I'm gonna place this with the short part of the bandana against my head. So we have the long part sticking up like this. From here, just behind your ears. And we want to pull this part here downwards towards the back of our head. And then we're just gonna make a knot over that part on top of it to kind of press it down into place. And again, we can do a double knot if we want to, but that's an easier way to do this, to kind of keep it in place. We have to do the babushka way to do this. We're gonna place our little bandana here laying down. Of course, the babushka style is easier if you have a bigger bandana, but it's worked fine with these ones as well. For the babushka style, we just need to fold it over in half like that. And we lift it up like we did with other methods. From here, place it on top of your head this time, like all the way on top like that. We can adjust this afterwards. And then from here, underneath your chin, and we are tying it up like that. And there we go, 
very fashionable and nice babushka look here. If you're gonna hide any scars or something, pull it a little bit to the front, you can make some adjustments, and uh, yeah, there we have it, uh, awesome. So now that we've covered so much of the head, let's move down to the neck. I'm gonna show you some cool ways that you can tie this up for your neck as well. So again, I'm gonna start out here by laying our nice bandana down flat, like this. And for the first way, just fold it over in half like that. And you can lift it up like this and tie, put it over your neck, over to the back. I would place it a little bit loosely like this so that it's nice and breathable. This is awesome for motorbiking, by the way. Gonna keep the bugs away, also the sun, I guess. You need to tie it up twice here, otherwise it's just gonna fall off really quickly once you start uh, moving around. So, like that. You have an awesome look uh, for your motorbiking. Also, hopefully, never again, but you can use this as a makeshift, uh, what's it called, M mask. Oh, and yeah, if you're gonna rob a bank, I guess you can do this as well. And then you have the disguise as well for the babushka look, so no one is going to recognize you. Unless you're a babushka, of course, then you probably want to go with the pirate look or something instead of this one. <laughs> and I guess that is one thing to note about this. Uh, be a little bit careful with the colors if you're in a gang-infested area. I guess nobody's going to uh, suspect you uh, as gang member coming around like a uh, rainbow bambushka here, but <laughs> maybe it's something to keep in mind. Uh, anyway, moving on here. So the next way I want to show you is just a simple little scarf that you can make. So again, I'm going to start with a bandana laying down flat like this. and folding it all the way over to the side like this so we get the triangle look. Now for this method we're gonna roll it up again like we did with the, the first headband. Let's do two inches again, you can do one inch as well, then you get the thinner uh, scarf. So anyway, two inches, let's do that. And we roll it up all the way to the top. Again, you want to be a little bit mindful of this edge here so it doesn't kind of stick out, it looks kind of silly sometimes. It flops out there. Anyway, we lift it up here and we're gonna place this over our necks again. And it depends on you how tight you want to do it. If you want to look like a puppy, I guess you can do it really tightly. Or you can loosen it up a little bit if you want to. Again, you may want to do a double knot with this so it doesn't fall off if you're going to move around a lot. Moving on here, I want to show you one of my favorites. This is the coolest one, if you ask me anyway. Handband look. So how you do the handband, we're going to lay it down flat like this. And we're going to fold it all the way over to the other side like we did with the previous two uh, folds here. If you want to make this look cool, you need to do roll it up two inches at a time or so. So that we get the same thickness as I had on my hand. So just roll it up all the way to the top. Again, we wanna make sure that this doesn't stick out too much, otherwise it may look a little silly. So I'm gonna turn it around one more time so that we have this triangle part sticking out on top. From there, you can just lay down your uh, hand to, at the desired position. Take the other hand and take one of the ends over, under, like that. Then that is ready. Repeat the same process with other hand, over, under, like that. And then you take the hand uh, at the nearest your arm, just hold on to it with one hand. Then you have your other hand free to work with this one. And from here, we're just gonna tie it up into a knot, like that. And you can do two knots if you're gonna hold, uh, have it on all day. It's gonna loosen up a little bit over time if you just do one. That, and there we go, awesome looking. This is a great way to store them on your body as well. If you don't want to keep it on your head, for example, all day, you can store it like this when you need it on your head or on your neck. It's ready right there on your hand. And of course, kind of a cool look as I've been saying all this time. <laughs> there are ways that we can do this with our legs as well. For example, if you wanted to, you could place it all the way down on your ankle and uh, yeah. Very fashionable and uh, beautiful, <laughs> I'm sure. So which of these bandana folds was your favorite? Which ones do you want to try out first? Let me know down in the comments. I'm super excited to hear about it. So if you like this video, I have made a lot of other videos. For example, I made one here on how to wear your hats. Also making ones on neck gaiters that I'm gonna link here. If you want to see how to organize all your clothes, that's a link video right here, I think. I can't really see anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>